Hi, welcome to Road to Vostok Devlog episode 7. This episode will focus on the new shelter system, but I will also showcase a lot of new features that have been added to the game recently. These last couple of months have been quite busy for me. The game is progressing well towards the next demo called Public Demo 2, and related to that, here's also an initial plan on how I'm planning to get there. Right now, we are at the Devlog 7 mark, and in terms of content, there will be a few Patreon development builds, an AI update related devlog episode, the first lore video, and finally a public demo 2 trailer at the end of the summer. Regarding the game itself and the features, the goal is to have the first game loop version ready at the end of September, and there's no denying that there's a lot of work ahead in order to achieve this goal. But I'm still quite confident that the project will stay on schedule, whether it requires some compromises or not. But now to the main topic of this video. I believe that many people already know the main idea of the game, so I won't explain all the elements in detail. I will mainly focus on these shelters in terms of the game world. The original idea was that the shelters, which act as a save points, are sprinkled around the game world as a separate small maps. For the most part, this idea is still valid, because the goal is to enable multiple different playstyles and shelters that can be used for different purposes. What has changed in this idea is that I decided to combine the shelters as part of the game world's maps. The reason for this was that this approach speeds up the development, reduces loading screens, and makes the transition between maps and shelters a little more straightforward and logical. At the moment, I have designed four different shelters that are completely different in style, but in the next demo there will be only one of these and it will be located inside the village map. This actually fits the upcoming demo and game idea quite well, because the village map and its shelter will act as a hub from which you can move to different directions of the game world, even though there are only 5 maps currently in the game. This first shelter in the village map will be based on a Finnish civilian defense shelters and bunkers, and I will introduce it at the end of this video. Although the main focus of this devlog episode is the new shelter system, as mentioned earlier, I will showcase a lot of new features as well in this video, and I also decided to add a little more behind the scenes video clips when it comes to visiting real locations and finding unique textures to the game. So, enjoy the devlog.
Мы больше ничего не знаем. I hope you enjoyed these updates and features that were added to the game. I have actually one more surprise feature left, but before I show this, a few words on how you can help the development if you feel like that I'm doing a good job. First, if you have not yet wishlisted the game on Steam, by doing this that would help the project a lot. Even though wishlists are just numbers, I have found that they still have a lot of value in multiple situations and discussions. Another thing that really helps this project is following this YouTube channel and sharing these devlog videos. Exposure on YouTube helps in so many different ways and all the ad revenue goes directly to hiring contractors and improving the project. And then the last option is Patreon, which is the best way to support this project financially and this also gives you pretty comprehensive access behind the scenes. There's all kinds of development updates, test builds, polls, QA sessions and much more. Now let's move to this surprise feature. This feature will be optional in the game and it will be linked to the shelter system. If you decide to turn this feature on, it will basically create a situation for you where you have to worry about more than just your own survival. I will end this devlog with this feature, so thank you for watching and see you in the next video.